Hello, Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina, and I ordered a mystery box on Poshmark. It was $45. Um, I did already open the box because it came pretty beat up. I don't know. You can tell. It's like a dent and whatnot, and it got wet outside because it was raining all day. So like pretty soggy so I did open it and I did find that one thing had gotten broken but I was able to fix it to the best of my ability so let's see what I got in this so first up is some um, Yula Beauty makeup remover towelettes what's in it pore refining witch hazel 100% biodegradable now these came like this i don't know why so i used these to clean up the eyeshadow that had broken so i'm not sure if i want to use them on my face because they were open i don't know if you know it was the way she got them or what so i was just been using them to clean up makeup off like my my desk and stuff is what I would use them for. I did use those to clean up the makeup in the box because like I said I'm not sure if I want to use them on my face. I don't really think I do. Alright so next up we got a blue box. I didn't go through everything. Um, I was just looking to make sure that nothing was damaged and I did find eyeshadow all over the place so I knew one thing was damaged. So here we got a necklace that like little blue dots and some silver ones on the thing from Violet Harper I have no idea about that brand but a little necklace um a Tom Ford lipstick sample when I saw this, I thought it was perfume. But it's three little lip stick samples and a little lip brush, I guess. I don't know. She did give me a card. Um, I'm not going to read that on here. Let's see, we got the rhubarb and rose creamy lip and cheek palette from Seraphine Botanicals. I guess. So, there we go. So we got one, two, five shades in here. And there's no fingerprints or anything. Um, I don't know about cream blushes. I don't really know how I feel about that right now. I haven't tried them yet. That's why I say that. But, it's cute. We got from Iconic London a Triple Threat Mascara in black. Cute packaging. I'm not going to open it up because mascara, you only got three months to use it. So we'll leave that unopened. And then we got Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in taupe um probably way too light for me my eyebrows are pretty dark mm, it might work it might be dark enough maybe Then we got 
Cover Girl, Outlast All Day, and Blushed Mob. Apparently it came from Dollar Journal. So that's the color. I have some of these actually. So this is the gloss that goes over it. And it looks like it melted a little bit. Not used looking, but melted. Um, and then this is the shade. If I can get it open. Pretty color. And then NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Gold Liquid Liner in Stage Trooper. Now, this box is supposed to have at least 20 items and value $200, is what it said on the posting. Um, it just got a lot of glitter in it, so that's why it's chunky like that. So, it's cool, purity. And then we got NYX Lingerie Double XL in Expose Me. This is a pretty color. It's got a cool looking put looks like almost the same shade as that cover girl that's pretty that'll be fun it's a pretty big tube and then we got mac power glass plumping lip gloss that'll be exciting a little plumping lip gloss now if i could just find one that actually like really plumps my lips up it's got a weird, it's like wavy dope foot. It's a very pale pink. Okay. Super pale. That's pretty good. I haven't tried anything from that at all. Then we got an Araceli gel pencil liner in black goes on really good it's very black that's pretty awesome and then from ultra beauty we have a velvet matte lip crayon and it does not say a shade but it is sealed if I can get the plastic to come off. <laughs> they need to work on their uh, work areas because it does not work very good. Oh. Let's see what color. That's a pretty color. I like that shade. Hopefully it'll look good on me. That's pretty awesome. We don't mind lip products. I don't really need lip products, but I don't mind them. I have a lot. And then from House Laboratories, we got Legend. Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder. I haven't tried anything from this brand. I do want to try some of their lip products because they look really cool. I like, love the packaging of this thing. It's, what it looks is pretty. This is like a gold. It's pretty. The applicator is kind of looks like a little ballerina foot. Ooh. 
so there it is on the bottom very sparkly I can see using that on your eyes over you know your eyeshadow look just like you can dab it on there It'd be really pretty like that and then we got it bye bye pores blush Pearless Finish Airbrush Brightening Blush in Natural Pink. I haven't tried anything from this brand. A lot of these brands I haven't. I mean, CoverGirl, L, NYX, I have. Well, NYX, it was NYX. I've tried CoverGirl and NYX, but I haven't tried anything from any of the other more like name brand stuff. So this is a really pretty pink. Really pale. Be a good light blush shade for me. Really pretty, and you can tell it's not used. It's got all the fun little dots in it and everything. So that's really cool. It'll be fun to try out. Um, then we have a context lipstick in this shade into the fire, and I took the plastic off of this one. There's the shade right there on my knuckle. Really pretty. I really like contact lipstick. I got one in Ipsy. And I really liked it. And then I got one in BoxyCharm. And then I ordered one from Ipsy's little sale add-on thing. So this will make my fourth one. And I don't have this color. So that's really awesome. I really like this lipstick. I like how it feels. And then we got Black Lace Rabbit blush in it says cream blush I don't see a shade oh it's by lipstick lipstick queen I'm guessing the shade is black lace rabbit so this is really pretty packaging it's black and I did try this out because I was very confused and so it looks black but when you go to use it it actually goes like a very pale pink and sit right here Let's see oh. you can see it on my finger a lot of that black comes out whenever you warm it up on your finger I thought that was weird. I just washed this because I was like, I was very confused by the whole black blush. But it's actually pink and it's really pretty. Really fun to play with. It might be one that you kind of got to practice with to make sure you get it on right. I'm not sure yet. And then we got Aromatherapy Associates London De Stress. Muscle Gel Focusing and Soothing. I know this was in BoxyCharm Premium, I think, recently. So, I don't know. I'm sure I can use that somewhere. And then from Ellen Tracy, we got this lip kit. Two liquid lipsticks, one lip liner. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. Oh, it's still sealed on it. Loose, I don't like these things little stickers all the time. This side does not want to come loose. Well, at least we know it was sealed. That's a plush, right? <laughs> oh, man. So we got a reddish color. Red orangeish color. It kind of looks like a pinkish red. And then we get this pink, pinky color, and then we get the lip liner. Sorry about that. Lip 
pointer is definitely pink. So these ones also have an angled still fit. Okay. Do it right here. See the lip liner, then the pink and the reddish color. It's so pretty, it must be fun to play with. And then we got this one kit, 12 pieces of beauty kit. And this little gold bag cute little pouch let's see we got a velvet scrunchie a pink headband some toe separators i'll definitely be giving those to my daughter because these things are painful and then we got Two of the faux hair ties. I'll give those to her too because I don't use those. And then this itty bitty little nail file. And then last we had four bobby pins. Bobby pins are nice to have. And a nice little, little baggie. So it's still a nice little set. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, and the last two things we got are our two palettes. That's everything in the box. Besides the trash I threw in there. Throw some more in there. So this is the palette I had to fix. Persona Identity 2. And you'll see. So. These two shades here were broken. This one a lot had come out of the, pa had come out of the palette. And so I just pressed them back down in there. And then this one, when I was trying to clean it up, I kind of, I nicked it a little bit and I had to press it. That one was my fault. And these two happened during shipping. So, um, I didn't get it cleaned perfectly because a lot of stuff got stuck down in here in these notches that apparently came up between then and now. But it's a pretty palette. Let's see, well, swatch this one. And we'll do this one. And we'll do one of the ones I refreshed. Because why not? So this is three of the shades. I really like this purpley color. Kind of shifty. Almost. When light hits it, it looks brighter. So I guess not really shifty. Just pretty so like this palette that was pretty fun pretty cute definitely like that palette that was actually one of the palettes she had listed and I said that I liked it and I just got lip stuff in my hair we'll clean that out in a minute and then next is this palette by Iconic London it is Blaze Chaser face palette So I'm guessing like blush, these two, maybe this one, but I think these are more like shimmer shades, like highlighters or something. I don't know. I'll look it up and find out more about it. This one might be a bronzer. Maybe that one. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. Maybe the contour shades. I'm not really sure, but I'll look it up and figure it out. So that's everything I got in my box. We got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And this came with the card, so I think this is just a little freebie she threw on there. So, we got all 20 items, and I did count the stuff that came in one package as one item. So, technically, we got a little over that. Mm -hmm. I think that's awesome that, you know, she counted the things that came together as one item instead of counting each one. That was pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's what I got in my Poshmark mystery box. Um, I ordered this because I was being impatient, waiting for Busy Beauty to have spots open. Um, I know I'm on, like, a waiting list for June, the end of June, so... But I was really wanting to get something, some sort of mystery for Mother's Day. And then I was hoping to get be Busy Beauty by my birthday in June. The beginning of June. But I am more than happy to wait as long as I get these spots. Because those boxes look truly amazing. This one is okay. Um, I think I got my money's worth. So... If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. So for now, thank you. Bye.